Vision 2030's economic pillar targets to develop new lands for cultivation by strategically utilizing over a million acres of unutilized land in the arid and semi-arid areas. In line with this, the National Irrigation Board is currently increasing area under irrigation and drainage through the expanded irrigation program. The objective is to attain national food security and to improve livelihood for households in Kenya. The board has launched an aggressive plan through which it plans to cost-effectively improve crop production in target regions. Inefficient irrigation techniques such as furrows are being replaced with cost-effective methods. This has resulted in modernization of irrigation activities in regions with scarce water resources. The rivers we have serving the eight districts are all seasonal except River Athi, which is serving Loayata. So in this respect, for us to support irrigated agriculture, we have to look for better ways of utilizing this water better ways of conserving this water and better ways of capturing this water. When it rains, we have very little rainfall in this area. It is below 700 millimeters and the temperatures are also fairly high, between 24 and 35 degrees Celsius. So that one means that when it rains, also evaporation affects the, 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 water, which, the, the water which we've got from the rain. And once it's affected, we get a lot of evapotranspiration. Some of the projects are located in eastern in Kibwezi district, Makweni County. The project involved changing the system from canal conveyance to pipeline which reduced all the seepage losses. All the application system was changed from open furrows to drip. Kwachai irrigation scheme is a scheme that was started way back in 1953 and it has been going on. Method of irrigation has been, conveyor system has been canals, and the application system, uh, distribution system and application were canals and, uh, and the furrows. About seven, eight years ago, the canals were rehabilitated. They were changed from earthen canals to, to lined canals. And uh, we have been operating with it for that time. And uh, about three years ago, National Irrigation Board came on board and uh, we decided to change the system from canal system to piped system. Currently, we're having a piped system, main line running about 3.5 kilometers. And uh, the application method is being drip now. Each of the 230 farmers has been issued with an acre of drip. Hii ni moradi mkubwa sana area hii ya Mangelete. Eh wakulima wengi wamepata drip irrigation system. Wamepewa matangi ya maji, wamepewa drip lines. Na hivi sasa tunatumia maji ya drip. The project gets its water from the Mangalete Springs. The project was formerly five different projects which were brought together and common intakes made. They have a committee for each group and an umbrella committee for the whole group with the representative from the groups. <laughs> Tulikuwa tunanyunyiza kutoka 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 ile ile baro ile ile maji kunyunyiza kwa kupitia kwa mchanga. Lakini wakati tulikuwa ile these drips sasa tumeanza kutumia drips. Tunaona siku na faida kubwa kwa sababu kwanza tunatumia maji chache. Na mkulima atumii jembe. Ana wakati anaweka maji kwa maji yanaingia kwa tank. Yeye ana ana anaweka kwa drips. Basi naanza kunyunyiza bila bila um, Construction works are over and farmers have been trained. The Agriculture Extension Services is expected to take over the day-to-day -day management and follow-up.
By using drip irrigation, water is conveyed under pressure through a pipe system to the field, where it drips slowly onto the soil through emitters and drippers, which are located close to the plant. Only the immediate root zone of each plant is wetted. It is known that uh, by using drip, the production per unit area goes up simply because uh, you give water the right amount at the right time and in that case the production goes up. The margin economical sana maana mahali kidogo maji kidogo natumia area kubwa vile naitumia. So sina wasiwasi na hata kidogo juu ya maji ya drip irrigation. Unatoka wakati wa faro sababu maji ni kidogo sana because of uh, climate climate change maji imekuwa kidogo sana so uh, tumekuwa kusaidiwa kupewa hii drip tutumie the maji kidogo ile iko kwa ukulima bora na sana sana kilimo cha biashara the board has installed a complete drip irrigation system for 800 acres in Kibwezi, making the scheme the largest drip irrigation system for farmers in Kenya most regions in the country are benefiting from the installation of the drip irrigation kits and distribution of greenhouses. Kwa sababu hapo mbeleni, ya likuwa nasumbuka sana. Ata kwa muka midnight, kuenda kutafuta maji. Na maji hayo, <laughs> one eighth. Itoshelezi one eighth. Na kwa sasa, ni na hava neka, ambayo nina matumaini ya kuzidisha niwe na eka moja, mbili, e, tatu. I was about to give up. E, lakini sasa e, nina matumaini. Expanded National Irrigation Program started work in this region. We had to devise different ways and best ways and prudent ways of harnessing this water to support our farmers. That's why we started with greenhouses as one of the projects and greenhouses in this region we have had from, national, uh, from the extended program 114 greenhouses which is uh, going to about 2.45 hectares and serving over 3,400 farmers. The larger Kitui County receive less than 700 millimeters of rain per year. The temperatures are fairly high, ranging from 25 degrees to 35 degrees. The rainfall is poorly distributed such that agriculture production can only be achieved through supplementary irrigation in some areas. The source of water for irrigation is also a challenge since there is only one permanent river. River Athi traversing a small section of Lower Yata. This calls for establishment of alternative water sources other than service flow and promotion of prudent water harvesting and saving technologies to support agriculture. Maji ni muhimu sana. Ile maji inapita hapa ukija hapa wakati wa mfua ile inapita hapa. Ni maji nyingi sana. Kama inaweza zuiwa mahali ndio Kila wakati throughout the year, tuwe tuna, na ile maji nyingi. Ndiyo to waste a lot of time kuenda kutoa ile changalawi. Kwa sababu tunaweza kuja siku moja hapa, members wanatoa changalawi. Lakini kama maji mezuiwa na maji hiko, hiyo time ya kutafuta maji tunaweza kuitumia kwa, kwa kufanya kazi huko ndani. The program is ensuring that expansion of irrigated agriculture in the larger Kitui is achieved. One of the areas where inroads have been made is greenhouse farming in larger Kitui. Hapo samani ilikuwa ngumu kupata mboga. Kwa mana tulikuwa tunatoa mboga kititani. Na sijui zilikuwa zinatoka wapi. From here, all that we took it. Ndiyo tupate tomatoes to let, to let uku. Wateja wakuja wakituzie. Na sasa, sunaona tumepa, wakati tumepata greenhouse, sasa mboga kwetu ni raisi. Tunapata rice. 
Mnaona hizi zote zimetolewa huko chini. When we give our farmers greenhouses, we insisted that they be trained. That training component is very important because layering and uh, pruning are key essentials. If they don't do that and watering regime, if they don't do that properly, they'll not get things right. Sinking of boreholes, shallow wells, and construction of sand dams have enabled the project to tap sub-service flow. The harnessed water has been largely used to support greenhouse farming using drip irrigation. Since the inception of the project, 114 greenhouses have been installed, bringing the total area under greenhouse farming to 2.45 hectares. Tukaona hii kikundi tuandike eh, proposal kwa National Irrigation Board. Ndiyo tuwese kusaidiwa na nyumba sa greenhouse kwa vile tuliona ndiyo sinaweza kuwa na na manufaa zaidi Most of the farmers grow tomatoes in these greenhouses. This has a potential yield of tomatoes estimated between 612,000 to 3 million 60,000 kg worth of between 12 million and 60 million Kenya shillings at farm gate price. The choice of greenhouse promotion is not by chance but due to numerous advantages including its ability to ensure all year production in a controlled climate. Efficient utilization of land water that is between 0.5 to 2.7 liters per plant per day and labor return to investment per unit area and minimal use of agrochemicals. The advantages of these greenhouses is that we can use water more efficiently. We can work even when it is raining because it is housed. We can control the microclimate inside the greenhouse such that even pests coming from outside are not able to get in. So that's why we advise our farmers to close the doors always of the greenhouses. And the farmers here are more interested in planting tomatoes. When we look at the planting of tomatoes, one tomato plant can yield 5 to 25 kilos because the harvesting period is extended from 6 to 8 months. So it will depend on the agronomic practice which is being done by the farmer and also the nutrition the crop is having in the, in the greenhouse. So with that, and with the 114 greenhouses, we have a potential of raking 12 million Kenya shillings to 60 million Kenya shillings. However, there are challenges which affect its adoption by farmers, such as farmers' technological level, high initial cost, diseases, and pest control. There are other issues which come alongside with greenhouses. The problems they have, one thing is water, constant water supply. The second thing where they have problems is control of diseases and pests. The disease which is very, very dangerous in the greenhouse is a fusarium wilt or, or another, the bacterial wilt. When it gets, sets in the greenhouse, it forces us to stop and rotate the crop. This information they got even during the trainings which they had. Despite the challenges, modernization of irrigation activities in these regions with scarce water resources really works. In our ways, we have create a miyamoja per week, kupeleka Mombasa, Kongoya. Local markets, wanakuja hapa kunua nyanya locally. Apart from nyanya, ina lima sukuma, wanapeleka kwa town kuuza kwa villages. Even up to voi, wanakuja kutoka hapa, wanapeleka uh, voi. Manyani, ata Mombasa na napeleka kwa ngwea sometimes, ikiwa mingi. Sukuma mimi ni kona udas kwa maoteli. Ukiena mchitu utakuta nilauza sukuma zangu, tale, Coast City Hotel, Safari Park. Tuseme three quarters ya hoteli zile ziko mchitu ni mimi na uzia sukuma. And the others na usa sokoni hapo around. So, yangu wanga siyuzi mbali.
Nauza kuyeria mchitu na ina niprosesha na kusonesha watoto wangu. Watch this and more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit. AIC Find us on www.nib.or.ke on Twitter or Facebook.